everyone, welcome back to another episode of Astro Pill. Thanks for tuning in, playing more Tokyo Dark. And in the last episode, we were questioning her, asking why she was involved in the Yakuza. She just kind of ca got caught up in it innocuously. We're here to help her. Hopefully we don't get our head sliced off by the Yakuza, but you know what? Sometimes we just have to take those chances. So don't sign that contract, I will help you. Ugh. Damn it. It doesn't matter what I need from her. I can't make you sign this in good conscience. Hooray! I knew good would prevail in the end. Thanks. How'd you get mixed up with that woman anyway? I need some information from her. You should be careful. I don't know about her, but her thugs are dangerous. Last time they were here, I heard them talking about having to teach a girl from another cafe a lesson or something. The maid cafe? Please don't, please say it ain't so. Makes me feel sick thinking about it. What else would you expect from guys like that? Breaking legs is probably all they're capable of outside of grunting and drinking. Call me naive, but I don't get how someone can be so two-faced. When I started seeing her face in the papers lately, I couldn't believe it. Surely that ruthless woman they were talking about couldn't be the Kasumi I knew, or so I thought. Guess it's like you said, a tiger can't change its stripes, right? Hmm, maybe so. At any rate, you should probably be more careful who you trust in the future. Sorry, I didn't mean to wrap you all up in, wrap you up in all this. Yeah, you got us caught in two different things. Twice! This time, significantly more dangerous than last time. Last time we were just fighting a cat poisoner, which is pretty sketch already, but now you want to face the Yakuza? Girl? You better reward me with 5,000 cats. 5,000 cat pets. But thank you for not making me sign. So, what's your plan? Uh, I'm not sure if I really have one. Maybe I could appeal to her kinder self. If she really is a cat lover, I'm sure she wouldn't want to see the little guys hurt, right? Oh no, I've really gone and got myself into trouble, haven't I? Maybe I should go instead. The contract was given to me, so I'd better deal with it myself. Plus, I get the impression that being confined by the cops hasn't put her in a great mood. I'm sure you don't agree, but I still think there's some good in her. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if she'd be doing all these things if she didn't grow up into that life. And all the kitties loved her when they played with her. Cats are such good judges of character. I somehow don't think her treatment of ac animals correlates too much with her treatment of people. Uh, I'm suddenly starting to feel a little queasy thinking about going back there without the contract. Yeah, what's gonna happen to us? Are we gonna be okay? Oh my god! Damn it, Ayami! Damn it, Ayami! You've really got yourself into this, uh... God damn it. Into one this time, haven't you? Ugh. Hello, Tomo! No point in dwelling on it now. I've made up my mind and I can't run Yakuza debt collections just because I'm in a tight spot. Tomo, your ear's blocking my words. Stop! Take care! Don't worry, my kitties are never wrong in judging someone's character. Yeah, sure. You keep telling yourself that. I'll think of something, but I need you to lay low and maybe close up shop for a while until I sort something out. Oh man, what are we gonna plan? Who do we even have to rely on? Ourselves! We can't rely on anyone for this. Okay, well, I guess we're just going free reign. So let's see, who are we gonna come up with a plan with? Um, whoa, okay, we're locked off. Looks like we're gonna have a very set path to go to. So okay, looks like they just want us to leave. Here we go, let's see what our next step is. Oh my gosh, Tomo, what are you doing here? Hey, what are you doing here? Go back. Oh. Honestly, little one, I don't want you to get hurt. Go home. Are we just taking him with us? Oh my god, we are. <laughs> okay, so we're using Tomo to, to help us negotiate. Re realistically, we'd be taking him back to Akiva, but I guess we're just... Okay, whatever, he's our little negotiator. Tomo, how'd you even get out here? Is, shouldn't she be freaking right now? Oh my god. Oh, 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 oops. Right here. Okay, let's enter. Hi there. Welcome back. I assume you took care of that little nuisance for me. I didn't have her sign it. I couldn't in good conscience ruin someone's life like that. Hmm. Let me explain something to you. If I give you something to do, you don't come back until it's done. 
What? Do you think you're some sort of moral crusader? Helping out the little guy? What'd she tell you, anyway? That she was a small town girl who couldn't keep up with the big meanies in Tokyo? Put it that way, I guess I do sound like I'm asking a bit much. Did she tell you about all the cats that keep escaping? Or the ones who wandered into nearby businesses? How about the heaps of trash that were piling up around the place? If it weren't for me getting people off her back and cleaning up the place, those cats would probably be dead by now. What we have here, detective, is a trust issue. You were too quick to take the other side because of who I am, or at least who you think I am. Pity. Kazu? Yes, boss. Take Ito outside and show her what happens when people disappoint me. Don't be too rough. I don't want a repeat of last time. Oh, and leave her face alone. I'd hate for someone to see a black eye and think she might be worthy of sympathy. Keep her jacket here. I like it. It's very chic. Did you know my friends tell me when all the police raids are coming? It's pretty handy, really. As a matter of fact, there's one scheduled for tomorrow. I'll be gone, of course, but if they were to find this jacket, well, who knows what they'd think. Would be a pity if someone recognized it. Yeah, because we wear it every single freaking day. There's no way they aren't gonna recognize it with our trendy little button. Kazu, escort her out. Good luck finding that stupid little girl. We are dead. We're freaking dead. We're gonna die. That's it. That's the end of the road. Was this a terrible decision? I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared! <gasps> Kitty? Tomo? Yes? Hold on, Kazu. Ito, who is this? He's, um, I guess he's a stowaway from the cat cafe. Oh. He is, huh? I, I see. I, uh, <clears throat> I, I love him! Oh! <laughs> Cute! Look at him! <laughs> Look at his squishy little face! I can't have a detective beaten around such a cute little face! What's his name? Beaten? Oh, um, uh, I think his name is Tomo. <laughs> Tomo? That's not much of a name for a man, is it? Hmm. I shall call you Mr. Marshmallow. About that blackmail and beating you were mentioning just a moment ago... Oh, that? Oh, forget it. Really? Oh, um, good, good. <laughs> oh, Ito, lighten up. You're not a liability unless you start talking to your cop friends. And you wouldn't do that, wouldn't you? No, they likely wouldn't believe me at this point anyway. My thoughts exactly, so cheer up. How can you stay mad when looking at these big guys and these little feet? I look at you and I see a woman whose priorities are all wrong, Ito. You don't appreciate what you have, only what you're looking for. That is, until you find it. But then what? What's left? That said, I was serious about one thing. If you talk to any cops about my business or about my, uh, affection, as I would say, for cats, or anything like that. Kazu might pay a visit to your apartment and pick up where he left off. But who wants to think about all the logistics of dismembering and disposing of a detective's body when you've got these little whiskers rubbing against you? <laughs> huh, Sachko was right. You do genuinely love cats. So why make her sign a contract that would end her with her having to put the cats down? Suchko isn't as perfect and cute as she seems. She might love her cats, but she has strange ways of caring for them. You mean like giving them friggin' sashimi? She owes me a great debt, and it's my right to collect it. If her cafe shut down, I'd make sure those cats have a good home, though I can't say the same for their owner. This job is about a- This job is about tough decisions. Not legal ones like you cops make. In my business, you have to sleep with the choices you make, not leave them at the door when you hand the case over to the courts. <laughs> Mr. Marshmallow Mello likes being picked up. No, <laughs> He is pretty cute. I'm not sure if you meant for this outcome, but I have to say, you have some guts coming back like you did. I thought you'd have- you'd be another pushover cop to keep in my pocket. I underestimated you. And in doing so, I've given you information on one of my weaknesses. <laughs> it's funny, really. 
I spend so much time making sure I'm not seen as the weak woman that all the, these men expect me to be, that I don't feel like myself sometimes. Something I'm sure you understand quite well. Tell you what, I'll let you have that one little weakness of mine. It's only fair. I know so many of yours, after all. In a different life, maybe we could have been friends. Kazu, stand down for now. Ito, consider yourself lucky. I'll let you keep your jacket tonight. Understood, boss. All right, forget the cat cafe contract. I'll get one of my boys to deal with it later. Oh, well, what was it you wanted again? I want to speak to Omega's company president, Higashi, about a girl signed to his agency. That's right, our missing agency president and one of his many projects. What a despicable little man. I'll tell you now, I had no problems taking control of the business from him. I left him as president to keep a few of his clients happy. A decision I regret now. Alright, let's talk to you. Did you kill him? Where is he? Um, no, we're not going to... We just had a conversation that we're a little more alike than we think. Let's, let's just talk to her normally. Where is he? Unfortunately, I'm just as in the dark about where he disappeared to as you, I'm afraid. A deal's a deal, though. While you were out, I got an address to one of his old hideouts and the code to get in. I can't guarantee you'll find anything there, but I said I'd tell you what I knew, and that's what I know. You haven't sent one of your stooges to check it out for you? Stooges? <laughs> I like you, but don't push it. As I said earlier, me and my men can't afford to be spotted right now, especially in an area getting so much special attention. Special attention? Doesn't Kabukicho get enough attention on its own? Kabukicho is what it is, but this isn't in Kabukicho. This particular spot got its reputation and subsequently, its extra police patrols a bit more recently. In fact, I hear there's still an ongoing investigation going on there. I heard you'd be intimately familiar with that area and the incidents that happened there. My condolences on the loss of your partner, Detective Tanaka, by the way. All the papers are rushing to make you out to be incompetent, or worse yet, some sort of psychotic killer. Maddening, isn't it? My friends in police headquarters say you two were... close. That's no way to lose someone you love. I suppose it's not too much to ask what really happened. Was there really someone there that night? Thanks on the condolences, but what happened on that night isn't something I want to discuss right now. Suit yourself. Let's change the subject back to Hingashi. It took a bit of digging to find that address. Seems he was keeping a second hideout in Shinjuku under a fake name. Is it someone we know? I would laugh so hard if Hingashi was really the young dude. The, hey guys, I'm really like, yo, I would laugh so hard if it was that guy. <laughs> now that we know where it is, he probably knows too. I highly doubt he'd be stupid enough to stay holed up in it. But I also doubt he'd be smart enough to completely clear the place out before he left town either. It's gotta have to do with the warehouse because- or, or the keypad! The keypad locked door that we've never been able to go into. Or the chicken place? There's a lot of possibilities here. There's probably something in there that would lead us right up- right to him. Get what you want, then let Kazu know where the slime is so we can straighten him out. He'll get those fantasies of running away out of his head. The code to the door is 11235. I'll write that down in case, but I'm pretty sure uh, Ito's gonna remember that. 112. God, this pen is running out of ink. Hold on. Scribble, scribble, scribble. 1235. Alright, cool. Finally, we get to get in there. Yeah! It's the only keypad lock on the street. You can't miss it. Don't worry, I've been thinking about it all day, all night. My neur neurosis shooting through the roof. For what it's worth, I wish you good luck finding your little girl. But remember, you can't save them all, Ayami Ito. Oh, Anito. Thanks for bringing Mr. Marshmallow to me. Being holed up in one place for the last few weeks can be a bit taxing. You know, I remember he loves fresh fish. Fresh fish, huh? Sachiko certainly does have an eccentric taste. Kazu, go pick up s some... Go pick up some sashimi. Right away, boss. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. Were you doing some like rhythmic DDR? But I got you. I'm going. They're not gonna keep Tomo here, are they? I mean, you know, obviously she needs some solace. She needs some time. But like, still though, they shouldn't. He kind of belongs to a different place. 
Maybe she'll drop it off later when she's able to show her face. That would be nice. All right, here we go. Back to Shinjuku. Let's finally unlock this door. Find some bloody corpses, uh, dead people, guts, you know? It's gonna be a fun time. I promise you, we're gonna have a great time together, okay? I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, let's see, keypad door was right here. Use the keypad. One, one, two, three, five. Huh. Oh, okay, so she just does it. It worked. Looks like Kasumi's tip wasn't a lie. Let's get on in there. Oh, God. And the background noise. There's gonna be a killer. There's gonna be a killer running after us at the end of the hall. Um, I haven't really been too scared throughout this playthrough. I thought it was gonna be really scary, but it's just like anime drawings. It's not too bad. You know, not a lot of suspense, side scroller, but I'm scared. Ugh, what a stench. I know that smell. Anyone who's worked in homicide long enough knows it. Great, dead bodies. I was right. I was right all along. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Okay, how many doors do we have here? Whoa! 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 This is best Christmas! Oh my god, what the heck? Who is this person? Yeah! Holy crap! Ruby, oh my god! Is this her dead corpse? Oh god, is that the sound of flies? I don't like it. The word Ruby is written in blood on the wall. Alright, let's take a look at our corpse. Oh god, it's gonna zoom in! Eww! Ah. <laughs> this is the source of the smell, alright. The body's in pretty bad shape. Whoever did it took long enough... Took enough time to mutilate the corpse. The internal organs have been disturbed. Maybe even removed. What's this? There's a paper bag with the name Hingashi on it. Did Naina do this? Ew! Oh god! That is nasty! Nothing's changed. Just a door. Is that- does that mean there's gonna be something changed by the end of the hallway? I'm ready. I'm ready for some people. I'm ready for some killers. Listen! Or what are we listening for? Nothing to see here. Where is that noise? Ah okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. Where is that noise coming from? <laughs> Hello? Hi! Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and listen. It sounds like something's trying to escape from the inside. Ha 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 ha! Time to touch the door! Time to die! The rattling stopped. Why? Because they're gonna burst out and scare me! Oh, what?! I don't wanna go in there! Hold on. Hold on. Nothing to see. Uh, dead corpse, dead bodies. Dead bodies, dead bodies, dead bodies! Ew! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Haha, <laughs> the door is open. I didn't open that. It wasn't open earlier. <laughs> Can we leave? Can we leave? I want to leave. I want to go. You guys, I don't want to do this. <laughs> okay, calm down. Calm down, Axis. It's okay. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, okay. It's just a scenery. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, huh. Is this a different, a different idols? Shots of various girls. All of them taken in this room. They don't look like the professional headshots an agency would take. They all look so sad. Hey, she was on the cover of the uh, magazine where we saw Ruby on. And Young. I've got a pretty good idea what these pictures were used for. And the types of people they might have been sent to. Nana! So, it's true. To think you were kept in a place like this. What happened to you? Huh? Something's happening. We're going crazy? Hello! Hello! Are we reliving some memories? <laughs> I'm scared. You're back early. I yeah, I, uh, I don't feel well. I think I'll go, go to bed early tonight. Ruby, don't ignore me. Lately, it's been the same excuse over and over. I don't know what you're talking about. Ruby, my sweet little Ruby. You think because that one song was a hit, you can just stop working? That money's all gone, sweetheart. We spent it all trying to get you a record deal. Don't you think it's unfair to eat my food and stay here for free without doing any work? 
Ruby. Hey, s stop crying. Stop crying! I'm talking to you! Please. I didn't mean it. I'll, I'll do another song. I'll make it up to you, I promise! I just... I just don't want to... That's exactly why I'm setting up all these meetings for you. You make the right impression with these guys, and they'll take you places. Speaking of which, I got a call a little while ago from Masa. Know what he told me? He told me you were being a little disagreeable with him last night at his place. You know that he's one of our best clients, don't you? The things he can do for you girls is... Well, I shouldn't even need to tell you. I sent you to him because he said there was something special about you. In fact, he said out of all the girls here, he particularly wanted to meet you. I did you a big favor by making that happen. And you compensate my generosity by sitting in a room, crying, and telling me you don't feel well or whatever excuse you come up with next. I couldn't. He tried to... I don't care what he tried to do. You should have let him. When I took you in, you were a vulnerable, tiny girl who was already failing in school. But I saw your potential. I could already tell how pretty you'd be when you were older. That's all those men care about. How I look. So what? You think I took you in because of how smart you were? You're an idol. You're supposed to be looked at. Most men would fall over themselves to meet a pretty girl like you, but you ruin it for everyone when you sit there crying. What are you doing? I'm sick of looking like an idiot, Ruby. You made me do this. Oh no! Are we gonna see something? Oh man! Let's save this video for the next episode. We're likely- That was like, so disturbing! That was terrible! We got to see a horrible underbelly of part of this guy's idol business. Terrible things were happening to Ruby. Um, I don't know. Dana's probably her real name. We don't know at this point. Ruby's probably her idol name. Oh my god. So like, you know, obviously I, I don't think she would turn out as crazy as she is today without something terrible happening to her in the past. So like, Oh man, oh man, I'm so, so, so I guess if that was really Higashi's corpse, if that was really him, that was her getting her revenge on him for all the terrible, terrible, messed up crap he did to her in the past. Oh man, I'm glad there wasn't a jump scare, there might be, there might be, <laughs> this is very unsettling. Man, join me in the next episode so we can find out even more about Ruby. We're digging up a lot about her. Oh, see you then. This is Axis, over and out.